Hello friends. Today in math class, this teacher wants to ask his students some questions in relevance to maths. Let's start with the first question. The teacher asked, which is lighter, the table or the book? The students answered, the book is lighter. The teacher then brought in a book and a pencil case filled with pens and asked his students, which is lighter? the book or the pencil case. Some students said the book is lighter, while others said the pencil case is lighter. But what is the correct answer? The teacher then said, since we cannot tell which is lighter through eyeballing the items, we will use a balance scale to measure the mass of both the book and the pencil case. Only then will we be able to tell which is lighter. The teacher said, we will start with the book. When we put the book on one side of the scale, that side lowers. So we need to put something on the other side to make the scale balance. That is why my students, we will be bringing a group of cubes and stacking them on the other side of the scale until both sides balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need more. Nine. Now notice how the scale has become balanced. So the mass of the book is equal to nine cubes. Good job. The teacher continued. Now we will repeat the same method to measure the mass of the pencil case. When we put the pencil case on one side of the scale, it lowers, so we will try to balance the scale once again in a similar manner to the one we used earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not balanced yet. Eight. Now the two sides of the scale are at the same level. This means that the scale is balanced, so the mass of the pencil case is 8 cubes. The teacher said, since the mass of the book equals 9 cubes, while the mass of the pencil case equals 8 cubes, we can now determine that the pencil case is lighter. Through this method, we have learned how to measure the mass of an object using cubes. Now. I would like you to measure different items. The students prepared some objects to measure. For instance, this student wants to measure the mass of Play-Doh. Meanwhile, this student wants to measure the mass of an eraser. And this student wants to measure the mass of a crayon box. The first student started by putting the Play-Doh on one side of the scale. Then, she started stacking the cubes on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the scale is balanced. So the mass of Play-Doh is six cubes. Wonderful job. As for this student, he placed the eraser, then the cubes. One. The scale became balanced after placing only one cube on the other side of the scale. So the mass of the eraser is equal to one cube. The last student followed and placed the crayon box, then started to stack the cubes. One, two, three, four. The scale is balanced at four cubes. This means that the mass of the crayon box is four cubes. The teacher said, by now we should have learned that in order to measure the mass of an object, we add measurement units to the scale until it balances. Then we count the added units.